vamos fazer agora mais um capítulo de Rowan. Capítulo 3. Good to see you. Look out! Huh? Rowan! Are you okay? Get out of here! Run back to your precious Olympias, traitor! Are you hurt? Yeah, don't worry about us. You're the one who got hit. Why would they do this? It's all right. I'm fine. So you're one of them too! Another stinking Olympias lover! But, thank you. Stop being so mean! Typical. He cowers behind bodyguards. That was terrible. Does this kind of thing happen to you a lot? Oh no, only on occasion. Shandu is a city of tradition. Many extremists who oppose peace call it their home. Yeah, they were all like, down with Olympias! Peace will not only benefit Olympias and its citizens, but also the people of Rize Maxia. If only more people took the time to look at the big picture and realize that. They will. At this point, the best thing I can do to convince everyone is to show actual results. DODA here. I'm sorry, is everything okay? Mm. Anyway, I'm sorry if this is a bad time for you, but we have detected a new fractured dimension. The rift appears to be in Fenmont. We've sent you the coordinates. Please take appropriate action. Would you mind if I accompany you? I feel it would be prudent for me to leave here for a time. Hey, hey! Answer me! Hey, hey! Oh, it's a message from Drissel. <gasps> Is there something wrong, Elise? It's nothing. I'll come too. Vamos lá na dimensão. Let's see what the people of Fenmont have to say. Vamos This world seems to be a wise and just ruler. Then he might be the Divergence Catalyst. Let's go to Orda Palace and see. Something wrong. I'm about to speak to a friend I'd lost, and yet I feel strangely calm. This must be part of growing old. Audience hours have concluded. Ilbert. Surely I can drop by for a friendly visit without requesting an audience. <laughs> if I ever got to the point of turning you away, that would be a bad sign. That's quite the entourage. I presume this is something important. No, just killing time on a sleepless night. Well, 
I was fully prepared for a dreadfully dull evening. Shall we drink until dawn, Ooh. like old times? That ornament in your hair. How striking. Oh, I never showed this to you, did I? It was a gift from my sister on the 15th anniversary of my coronation. A pity that it's now a memento. Princess Carrie. When wearing this, I can't help but be constantly reminded of the weight of my duty to our people. Hm. Even now, I can practically sense her wagging her finger at me. I see. So, in this world, a simple ornament like that has kept you from straying from your path. Hmm? Things could have easily gone in this direction. To think that you and I might have lived out our lives as friends. Rowan... Wait. You're not Ilbert, are you? Princess Carrie's ornament. Might I borrow it from you? <laughs> I don't know what your game is, imposter. But you're welcome to try and take it! We've fought enough for one lifetime. But if I must... Give me everything you've got. I want to see just who I'm dealing with. Imposter, prepare yourself for retribution! Are you capable of such old thing? You needn't ask! My spear will cut clean the path for this country's future! Well put. But enough talk! There is no greater language than that of battle! Very well. I, Rowan Ilbert, accept your challenge! Reminiscing on the past. A little nostalgia for an old friend of mine. You're not Ilbert, and yet you possess the conductor's skills. Who exactly are you? Just an old man who was to serve you loyally for the good of the country. Loyalty to me? Tell me something. What do you think of Rashagal today? I believe it is a thriving nation. A good one. The king leads his people, and the people support their king. Suppose that I try to destroy it all. What would you do about it? I would do everything in my power to kill you myself, or die trying. <laughs> <laughs> Some time ago, I asked the Ilbert I know the same question. And he gave me the same answer. Are you certain? I did tell you to take it from me by force. At the end of the day, I'm not sure who you are and where you came from. But you are Rowan Ilbert, through and through. Thank you. Despite the unpleasant circumstances, 
I am grateful for the chance to speak with you again. Hmm. <laughs> we certainly livened up a dull evening. Boga, if you would please. Yes, this world is destined for destruction. And besides, it is a world I've already lost. But don't you want to hold on? Indeed. Very much so. What? Before I bid farewell, Noctagall, please allow me to renew my vow to you. I will never retreat from my duty again. I will give everything to accomplish what must be done. And we're back. Rowan, are you okay? Oh, pardon me. Yes. Yes. Ah, in regards to that. Can you spare a minute? Hmm? Just follow us! Chipo! Shush! Please. Let's head to the inn. Don't tell Rowan. There you are. Drissel here sent me a text. She said she's got something important to show us. Just us! No Rowan's allowed! I apologize for the secrecy. Just read this. It'll be quicker. Dear Elise, if you're reading this, then I have already shuffled off this mortal coil. What is this? It seems to be his will and final wishes. A maid found it hidden in one of the spare rooms. There's one for each of you. Not so sure I want to hear his answer. We gotta be real delicate about this. Hopefully, this is just one big misunderstanding. Please, look after him for me. Of course. I'm counting on you. Trissel, you look so pale. Sorry, I'm fine. Everything will be fine. I'm not letting someone close to me die again.